Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to rotate your text in a Google spreadsheet. It's an option you might have seen in Excel, and it's also available in Google Spreadsheets, although it is a little bit of a workaround. I'm going to show you two methods for rotating your text. The first one is how to rotate your text vertically, and the second one is to how to add a custom degree of rotation to your text. I've got a spreadsheet here that you can see in row two the headers are kind of cut off and rotating the text might actually make it fit a lot more comfortably and make it easier to read. I have a formula here that I can use to rotate my text vertically. I've also pasted the formula down below this video for you to refer to later. I'm going to copy paste the formula into this cell. I'll remember my text here for later and paste the formula. And then inside these quotation marks where you see text to become vertical in two different instances, I'm going to replace the text that I want to rotate vertically in between these quotation marks. Once I've entered in the text I want to rotate, I'll hit enter. And you can see that the text is now rotated vertically. Although when I scroll, it doesn't really work because there's a lot of text in this text box that's taking up the whole view of my spreadsheet. So rotating this vertically might not be my best option. But there are spreadsheets when you have less text to rotate where it's a better solution. Okay, so rotating vertically wasn't my best option for this row of cells, but rotating it with a custom degree might work. To show you the second method, what you'll need to do is insert a drawing. Rotating a drawing can be very easy and helpful for rotating text when you have a simple spreadsheet like this. For example, this spreadsheet I'm not going to share with many people, it's from my own personal reference, and there aren't a lot of filters I need to put on. When you use a drawing and you're using a table that you filter a lot, the drawing doesn't always stick in its cell. However, there is another method you can do this, which is inserting an image in your spreadsheet. This is a little bit more of a complicated method, but we have a video linked below this video for you to reference. So now I'm ready to insert my drawing. I'm going to copy paste the text I want to rotate. I'll copy it, then I'll select insert, drawing, and this window will appear. I'm going to hit the text box here, draw the text box, and paste the text I want to rotate. You can adjust the box as needed for sizing, and then when you hover over this browned bullet point up here and you get this plus, plus sign, that means you're ready to rotate. So I'm going to click and rotate to the left, and this looks like a good angle for me to rotate at. It's kind of hard to get exactly a certain number, but if you get the angle you're going for and you can still read it, you know you have a good angle to go from. When you're ready to insert the drawing, click Save and Close. Now you can see that I have this free form drawing that I can move about the spreadsheet. I want to put it in this cell as if the text was already in there. So I'm going to delete the text in here and move my drawing inside the box. You can adjust the size as needed, but be mindful that it does affect the insides of the drawing. When you're ready to rotate the other corresponding cells in the row, you'll follow the same process. So I've gone in and rotated the other cells in the row, as you can see, and now my text is rotated. If at any point you want to go in and edit the image and edit the drawing, you just need to click on the drawing and click the arrow drop down here and select Edit, and your window will appear. From the same drop down, you also have the option to delete, assign script, or alt text. Thanks for joining us today for this tip. We hope you found it useful, and we'll see you next time.